Hello and welcome to Mr. Walton's Physics Lessons. In today's lesson we'll be learning about elastic and plastic deformation from the forces topic of GCSE Combined Science and GCSE Physics. When forces act on an object and cause it to change shape, the object is said to be deformed. In this case, the force of the wind on the tree causes it to bend. This is known as deformation. When the force is removed from a deformed object, if it returns to its original shape, this is known as elastic deformation. If you squash a sponge, you apply a force to it, which changes its shape. When you open your hand, the force is removed and it returns to its original shape. You may have done an experiment to investigate how a spring stretches. If a weight stretches a spring, when the weight is taken off, the spring returns to its original length. The spring and the sponge are examples of elastic deformation. Some materials, like plasticine, don't act in the same way. When you apply forces to a block of plasticine to shape it into a model, like this Christmas scene, it keeps its shape. When the force is removed from a deformed object, if it doesn't return to its original shape, this is known as inelastic or plastic deformation. Similarly, when a potter makes a pot on his wheel, the clay needs to stay in the final shape of the pot. The plasticine and clay are examples of materials with plastic deformation. If you found this lesson useful, please give it a like and subscribe to see future lessons. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.